Hi, everyone. I'm May. Welcome back. Hi, I'm Matt. After learning last episode, I know that Qingbai ware was made with a white porcelain body, fired with a glaze that produces a slight blue-green tint. Yes, many types of Qingbai items were made, as well as the usual plates and bowls. There were teapots and small round lidded boxes, usually for cosmetics. An unusual kind is ceramic pillows of Qingbai ware. They are so special with many different variations. For example, this one. There is a baby lying on his own pillow to support the pillow structure. And there are many flowers on this one. And on this piece, there's a deep carving where you can see the glaze pooling in each of the different crevices. On the top, there's a carved image of two babies playing in a garden among the flowers. The making of ceramic pillows is one of the more interesting results of the dramatic increase in the use of ceramic goods in China from 9th to 14th century. I wonder whether people would use it for a neck rest or not. Well, it will be explained in today's class. The bluish-white glaze resembles the natural luster of jade. During the Song and Yuan dynasties, bluish-white glazed porcelain wells were in strong demand overseas. Therefore, led by the Hu Tian Kiong in Jingdezhen Kiong complex, a huge manufacturer network of Qingbai porcelain was established in South China. Archaeological findings from the Hu Tian Kiong in southeastern Jingdezhen indicate that, since the early 10th century, the Kiong kept producing porcelain wells of various types, such as the Siladon wells and white glazed porcelain wells in the Five Dynasties, the bluish white glazed porcelain in the Song Dynasty, the egg white glazed porcelain, blue and white porcelain, underglazed red porcelain, and bluish white glazed porcelain wells in the Yuan Dynasty. For hundreds of years, numerous porcelain products have been made from the Hu Tian Kiong, making it the most famous Kiong in the Jingdezhen Kiong complex. The most typical kind of Qingbai well could be found in Hu Tian Kiong. Here is the picture of porcelain pillow, which is commonly seen at that time. As we know, porcelain pillow is a kind of summer bedding in ancient China. It is very popular because of its cool and refreshing function. It was once popular in Tang and Song dynasties, and a large number of Qiongs fired ceramic pillows in Song dynasty. This is the porcelain pillow with lions. This pillow not only has vivid shape, lustrous glaze with jade texture, but also has the dual value of practicality and appreciation. It is a fine product of porcelain. It is divided into upper, middle, and lower parts. The upper part of the pillow is ruyi, shaped with twigs carved on it. The middle part of the pillow is carved with double lions rolling and playing. The lower part is a round waist bottom with thick body and no glaze. Bluish and white glaze is applied to the whole body, and the glaze color is even and clean. You might wonder why ceramic pillows are popular in the Asian China. It might seem odd to discuss the function, cultural significance, and artistic value of a pillow. Today, we are going to explore the secret behind the humble pillow. Requiring extreme skill to produce, the ceramic pillows from the Tang and Song dynasties, in particular, are highly prized for their cultural value and place in the history of ceramic art. It is regarded as little more than an aid to a good night's sleep. In ancient China, however, ceramic pillows were commonly used as bureau wells. Although archaeological discoveries and literary evidence suggest they were endowed with multiple functions. Firstly, you definitely need a cooling aid in summer. The hot summer nights in southern China led to a surge in products designed to cool the bed, including ceramic pillows, which were also believed to keep the eyes healthy. Besides, 
ceramic pillows carried auspicious meanings. They became a practical necessity during the Song and Yuan dynasties. Due to small living space, bedding is also used as decoration that typically reflected the customs and culture of the period. Ceramic pillows with baby and lotus flower motifs were often presented by parents to their children as wedding gifts, carrying their wishes for a happy marriage and many offspring. In addition to children at play, flowers and butterflies were other popular motifs that carried auspicious meanings. What's more, some of the ceramic pillows were thought to ward off evil spirits. Certain animals were thought to have magical powers that could protect homes and families from evil spirits. While the skills required to produce exquisitely carved animals were mastered by artisans in the Qin and Han dynasties, animal-shaped pillows were increasingly produced in the Sui and Tang dynasties. Lion-shaped ceramic pillows were particularly popular during the Song Jing period. Lions were regarded as auspicious creatures with sufficient ferocity, strength, and spiritual energy to ward off evil spirits. And the lion-shaped pillows produced in Sichuan kilns were the most popular of all. The unique dragon-shaped ceramic pillows produced in Jingdezhen during the Northern Song Dynasty were used by royal families. Meanwhile. The remarkable skill and creativity of ancient craftsmen is evident on the small ceramic pillows, which were often embellished with landscapes, figures, and famous paintings, rendered using a variety of techniques. Also engraved on these pillows were poems, calligraphy, and quotes from the philosophies of Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. Serving to reflect their honored spirituality and act as reminders and encouragement to lead to a better life.